Hi, this is Robin Bremer, the author of the Kingdom Living series, Pocket Guides, and the Bible studies that go with them. And today, I just want to share with you a couple different rabbit trails, a couple different thoughts that are on my head. And the first thing that I want to share with you is I made some uh, discoveries, or uh, you could say, um, there's something that the Father shared with me that I want to share with you that I thought might matter in your life too. I have a friend, her name's Kat Kerr. She's not actually a friend that I know real personally, but she did write two um, articles on my blog for me. She did um, agree to do that, and so I consider her a friend. <clears throat> Even now that she's so busy, I, you know, I can't really have contact with her like I used to. But she has visited heaven hundreds and thousands of times. And her um, her mission that God gave her to do is to God would take her up to heaven for years and years and years now. And um, had her visit heaven and, and be uh, shown around heaven so that she can come back and show to us that heaven is a fun place. It's not a boring place where we all just float around and do nothing. <clears throat> but it's a beautiful place fun place to be and she comes back and tells us about it she tells us about the angels and the supernatural stuff happening on the earth so of course she's got my attention because that's what I'm all about is having a supernatural relationship with our father God and she experiences it on a daily basis which is totally awesome but she said something <clears throat> I've been um, come back to that in a moment I've been making some changes in my life the Holy Spirit showed me that I need to come back to my roots. I need to come back to spending quality time with Him. Excuse me. <coughs> Focusing on Him instead of working for Him. So I've stopped doing my blog five days a week and I'm going to do it two or three days a week uh, as He leads me. And instead of five days a week, you know, just pumping this information out, stuff out, I'm just going to share as he leads me, which will probably be two to three days a week. And I'm going to spend the rest of the time focusing on him. I look forward to evening time. My husband's at work and I'm home. And I just look forward to spending time with my daddy. I just, it just gets so exciting. I can spend time with my daddy. And um, I just love spending time with God. So <clears throat> in light of that, spending time with God and just getting focused on Him and on everything that is good about Him. My New Year's resolution, and I don't do resolutions, so this is something I started doing this week. My um, change that I want to do, that I want to happen in my life is starting right now. I want to focus on what He has, I want to focus on four things. I want to focus on what <clears throat> Jesus has accomplished on the cross. I want to know more about that. I need to know more about God's love for me personally. I want to know more about His grace. And I want to know more about uh, the knowledge of God. And I want to spend time focusing on worshiping, uh, studying, laying hands on people, and seeing them healed. And just going back through... Um, things that got me ordained, uh, teaching that got me ordained, go through my or ordination process <clears throat> on some of those things on healing and manifesting healing and so on. And just, you know, get back into doing the supernatural instead of teaching the supernatural of what I've already experienced. I want new experiences, fresh experiences with my daddy. So this is the mentality and the thought process that I'm at when I heard Kat Kerr last night. One of the things I do in the evening, <clears throat> now that I have a faster internet connection, is I will go on Patricia King's site called xmedia.com and I pay a monthly fee to get on her site and get all kinds of information. I listen to all kinds of teaching. I can I go there and I listen to supernatural teaching. I, I listen to experiences in the glory. And ex my cat wants to say hello. Say hello, Chloe. You'd be nice. Uh, now she's mad because I'm going to make her get down. Anyway, <clears throat> um, so I go to Sid Roth and watch some of his stuff. I go to uh, a bunch of other people that I have on my website, to their websites, and listen, hear, and read about the supernatural things of God and people's experiences and, and walking in the kingdom. And that's where my focus is, to get back to 
doing it, studying it, renewing it in my mind. Not just the experiences I've had in the past, but to just build up my faith for future peace, health, wholeness, and prosperity, walking in the supernatural things of God. Cat Kerr was on uh, last night, was one of the things I was listening to. I listened to Cat Kerr's, uh, some of the stuff that she shares about heaven, and she was sharing about when she went to heaven, excuse me, one of the things that the Father showed her is she, he showed her some different mansions in heaven, and the, and she said, all the pictures that you hang on, that are hanging on your wall in your mansion in heaven are alive. And my mind went, whoa, earth is a copy of heaven. We have houses here and we hang pictures on our wall. What would it be like if the pictures that we hung on our wall were alive? Think about that. Do you have some horrible death thing hanging on your wall? What do you have hanging on your wall? Imagine if that thing came alive that picture on your wall came alive would that be a good thing or a bad thing and so that made me think I don't have any pictures on my wall because I don't know if you can tell but if you look around here uh, my house is in the process of being built so it um, it's not finished so I don't really have walls I, right now I don't have insulation in most of my house and I don't have um, drywall or paneling up on my walls <clears throat> because we're working on the outside, the inside, and all this, so it's not done. So I don't have the wall hangings, but I have curtains that have little ducks on it. And I just looked around my house, and I said, what do I have? If this came alive, would I be pleased with the atmosphere, atmosphere it would create, or would it be creepy? And so I thought, hmm, what about the videos I'm watching? So what I did was I went to all of our videos. <clears throat> I went through all the videos, and I just started taking out things that was creepy to me that things that seemed to um, draw attention to the supernatural things of the de demonic uh, things that were a little bit scary or things that just I didn't feel good about and I just put them in a pile to get rid of and I just was so excited about thinking that the pictures in heaven that are on the wall come alive that everything in heaven is life and alive <clears throat> that just really rang a bell in me and got me excited so I just want to encourage you to look around your house and just imagine in your head if all the pictures paintings and things statues and um, just stuff that you have laying around your house if it came alive what kind of atmosphere would you be creating and is that the kind of atmosphere you want to live in does that bring peace does that bring healing does that make you feel like your children are protected like your children will make wise choices and anything that does not lead you to the conclusion that it brings life and abundant life and peace and joy, I would encourage you to get rid of it. Throw it out. Sell it. If you have to, give it away. But remember, what you re what you sow, you reap. So if you, you, you know, you might not want to give some of it away. <clears throat> you might want to sell it. Make wealth off of somebody who doesn't care. I don't know. But all I'm saying is, to me... It was, a, it was not an eye-opener because I, I kind of already was thinking in that realm, but it was more of a awakening. Like, yeah, I don't want an atmosphere around here that does not bring peace. I want, because my goal and the thing I'm working for right now is to walk more in the supernatural, to see more people healed when I touch them, to see them get slain in the spirit, to see them... Um, just to feel God's manifest presence and, and manifest it on the outside because the Holy Spirit lives inside of me. The resurrection power, the same resurrection power that rose Jesus from the dead lives inside of me and lives inside of you. And so when you lay hands on people, that resurrection power like electricity comes out of your hands or if you lay feet on people or if you just touch somebody, that same power that raised Jesus, Jesus from the dead should come out of your body and should bring healing to them because you are the flesh that is wrapped around Jesus today. You are Jesus' hands and feet. You, His Spirit lives in you. And so you have that same power that Jesus had when he walked on the earth. And so I just want to encourage you to look around your house and think, what is your behaviors, your actions, the places that you go, the things that you do, the things that you put in front of your eyes and your ears and your mouth? Um... Are those things bringing peace? Because the Bible says that whatever 
you hear will be multiplied to you what you see will be multiplied to you what you say will be multiplied to you that's the seed on the earth so if you don't like what's coming to you then you need to change what you hear what you see and what you speak and what you allow in your home so be careful and choose wisely the atmosphere that you want to create in your home by the things that you are surrounded with so my name is Robin Bremer net is my website and um, that's it for today and we'll talk to you tomorrow check out my website subscribe to me on YouTube I will do some live uh, posts every couple of weeks every once in a while some live stuff oh and you know what Nah, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.